So in this video, let's see how the ions we've been talking about come together to form ionic compounds. So when we make a compound, it has to be neutral, okay? It, can't, it has to have the same number of positives as negatives in it. So if we look at the compound that's being made of Na plus and S2 minus, if this is only 1 plus and this is 2 minus, can you see that we would need two of these to have two pluses and two minuses? Okay, we would need to have two Na's for every S. So they come together and make the compound Na2S. The other way to do this is this, this um, switching thing. You just crisscross them, and this one, you bring it down here, and this two, you bring it down there, and you end up with Na2S1 or Na2S. Same here. I have 3 plus and 1 minus. Can you see I need 3 of these? So I'll have plus 3 and, and minus 3. So that for every AL, I need 3 CLs. Or crisscross down the 1 and the 3, and you get a 1 and a 3, or just AL, CL3. Okay? If we crisscross down here, can you see that we get MN? 3P2. Just beware if you have something like Na, uh, let's not do Na, let's do Sr2 plus and S2 minus. When I crisscross these, I get Sr2, S2, but we want to reduce that to Sr, S. Okay, can you see that for every one of these, I need one of those. So this would actually be wrong. Okay? So what if now I want to do it with polyatomic ions? It's very similar. You just have to be very careful. Never change the polyatomic ion, okay? So here I have 1 plus and 1 minus. So can you see that I'm going to make NH4Cl? Okay? 3 plus and 2 minus. I'm going to crisscross the 2 and crisscross the 3. So it goes Al2, but then I need to put the SO4 in parentheses and then say I have 3 of those. Okay, so this 3 goes all the way outside there. And you'll notice that in my compound there's no charges, okay? You don't see the charges lying around. Again, I'm going to crisscross the 3 and the 4. So I'm going to get SN3, now I need parentheses, PO4, 4. Okay. Here I can crisscross the twos, but remember when the charges are the same, you're really just going to end up with one of each. So BAC2O4. Okay. And remember, never, never change the polyatomic ion at all. It has to look exactly the way it did over here. Okay, without the charge, of course. And that's all there is to making compounds out of charges.